And hello everyone. So we're going to begin with another tutorial video. This time I want to go through Spies in the House. Um, it is a tricky quest the first time or two you do it. Um, after a while you get used to it. But I know I've had to guide several people through it, and I've seen a lot of people with questions on how to run this. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how to do it. So we're in House D, uh, right around this area of House D. This is the teleporter up here. Over here is the airship entrance. Market entrance is down here. So it's over to this uh, westmost, sorry, eastmost side. Um, of the map. It's called the Blood Road here. Um, I'm going to do it on normal like I usually do. And on Epic, of course. The first thing you want to do is have Feather fall off for this drop. It's a long drop. But there's water at the bottom, so it's not a big deal to land. You'll be fine. Couple quick elemental kills here. And then you need to pull this lever. Dip into the water here. Oh, hello. And you want to be at the top of this tunnel when you come out because of those spikes. You want to stay kind of low because there's sonic traps up there as well. Kind of the middle through them, you can get through them all and not have any problems. I do want to mention that uh, I will not be getting a 30% trap bonus in here because I'll be soloing it. Uh, and this character has no trap skills, but it is very worth it on this quest to have a trapper. So you come up those stairs, come up to this side. Um, you can lower the drawbridge, but it's really just a lot easier to feather fall across. Saves you some time there. You want to have feather fall on for a lot of this quest. I'm going to also throw a shield on because there's guys that cast down there. They can be annoying now and then. You also want to have a decent jump. Uh, 30 is good. 40, of course, is better. Watch the broken section of pipe there. It's easy to miss. And if you do, you fall back down and get in everybody's way. This wheel here, you want to turn twice. And I had a little bit of lag there, so I actually turned it three times. Anyway, not a big deal. That's how you want it to look. The second one from the right should be orange. If that's the case, then you're set. That lets you get this air jet, which is essential for getting up here, and oh yay. That's one of the things that happens sometimes. Get caught in the air jets. You end up going not where you wanted to. But this is the boxes that you came up on. So you want to come back up those boxes and around to this grid grating here to come over to the pipe to catch the air jet. Let's try this again. There we go. This quest is horrible for rubber banding and not being sure where you are. Um, so it's just part of it, unfortunately. Keep that in mind that it can get frustrating until you get the hang of it, and even sometimes then you'll have issues now and again. If you come over here to kill these skeletons, you won't get a lot of the archery fire. It's not necessary to do so, it just cuts down on damage a little bit. Um, abundant step or wings or something will help you uh, get across that gap over there that we're going to go back to. You need to kill all the skeletons anyway for the... Um, see those lights over there in the distance? Green and orange? As I kill skeletons, you'll see them becoming more orange. 
Each skeleton I kill, another one will turn orange. So you want to kill all the skeletons here to unlock that uh, great door portcullis, whatever you want to call it. Um, that gets you the first prisoner. And prisoners give you bonus XP and they're worth getting, basically. There we go. So take that airjet across, or if you can abundant step or wings or whatever, get over here to get that valve. That valve opens this gate right here that I'm standing in. This gate was up before, and then killing all the skeletons opens this gate, which gets you the prisoner. If you're in a party, usually one person will run to the prisoner, another person will just hang right here to get this valve, which opens the gate right here. Now there's a trap box right about here. Um, this is a fun mess of stuff if you don't have freedom of movement. I'm using a, uh, what's it called, a stout oak walking stick? Yeah, I'm using a stout oak walking stick to get by this, but you'll see what happens. There's a lightning trap, there's air jets, there's fire jets, and there's grease. It's a fun mess of traps there. Uh, freedom of movement will get you right through it, which is all you need to do. You don't need to worry about it. Again, if you're a trapper, it is worth taking all the traps out, though. There's a couple boxes there to take out. If not, you can just avoid everything. Right here, some skeletons will pop up. You can skip these if you want. It's not a big deal to kill them, I find. Occasionally there'll be some treasure bags and such. Some methods that I usually skip killing. Um, there's another trap box down here somewhere to get rid of the electricity on this ladder. I'm going to switch to Featherfall at the top here. Alright. You can do this several ways. I do it this way to be consistent. I jump there to there to there. That's the way I first did it with not much speed, not much jump, and uh, I just continue doing it that way. If you have a way to open that chest, it's locked by default, but you can open that chest and get an extra chest too. This is the optional chest people usually refer to. Um, these two grates here will shoot out air jets if you open this secret door here. They will start shooting out air jets, which makes it a real pain for anybody coming up the ladder. Uh, this lever will turn those air jets off. So if you're in a party, it's good practice if you do get the secret door to go ahead and uh, take out the lever as well, or trigger the lever as well, so that not everybody behind you has to deal with the pain of getting up that ladder into the air jets. Because it is another annoying point. Uh, you have to admire the design of it, but it's really annoying to deal with. Killing the skeletons here also does some orange lights by a lever coming up here. So you have to kill three of them. I think it's the two mages and one other. That lever there, those orange lights. You want to get this valve for another prisoner. Again, you can see the I'm getting 4K-ish each prisoner, which isn't bad. They don't take very long to get, so I feel like it's worth it to go ahead and get it. Especially on this one where I'm not getting the uh, other. Oh, the other thing I wanted to m mention is the breakable bonus is worth it in here. You can get 10% breakable bonus. The breakables by the optional chest are part of that. Uh, I think there's boxes right here, yeah. You can see behind this restaurant there's a couple boxes you need to get as well. If you get everything, it's 10%, which is decent. And the urge oh, it did catch me. Not quite enough to get up there. You can skip a little bit of this if you're in a group, but solo it's not worth skipping because you have to come back here and get the Necromancer energy. Cat, get out of my water. I should try to skip most of this, although they will come up the other side and get you if you take too long in this part. Um, here's those two boxes. You want to arrange them real quick. Very easy to just 
grab. If you run a couple times in a row with a group, you get a feeling for who does what. You can split it all up, and it's really easy and fast to cover. But uh, soloing isn't bad. Ignore as much as you can. Just get the highlights of what you need. You don't need to go exploring everywhere and doing all that stuff if you just want to finish it. Or if you're running late, join a group late and you want to catch up. You can skip a lot of stuff. There's lots of nooks and crannies and stuff to get. See, here's all the elementals and such caught up with me, so... It took a little bit too long. And, uh, getting stuff down. But it's pretty easy to handle on normal. It's not a big deal. In any group, people will just power through this anyway, so... Not that difficult. Most people just run this uh, run this twice a day on Epic Normal because it's such good experience and Normal is a lot faster. On hard, the mobs' hit points are inflated that it just takes too long to kill them. You end up getting stuck here and there, so. A lot of us just run it twice down normal while we're grinding. You can take these out or skip them. Um, you want to have some sort of like arrow deflection or some way to absorb the hits of the arrows if you do that though, because there's a lot of archers over there. Got a little bit of lag there. Get this lever and then avoid all these guys and get out of here. You don't really need to deal with them. You'll still get pinged up when you go up the ladder, but it's not a big deal. If you have some dodge, some incorporeal, some deflection, shouldn't be too much damage. Even solo when you have all the aggro. And there we go. Prisoners are done. So again, that's... 4k a piece plus 8k for getting them all. I think that's worth it. For the minimal time loss it is. And there's a trap box over here if you have a trapper. This is the worst jump. Oh, made it. Cool. That jump is really hard to uh, get sometimes. It rubber bands horribly. You can't tell where you are. You end up floating around. You definitely need feather fall for that to make sure you get in the right spot. Sometimes you can get all the way up to this, which is the best kind of jump you can get, but uh, it doesn't happen on all the time. I just plan for it not to and just head towards the electrified floor. So yes, you need electricity resistance of some sort to get through here without too much damage. Range characters have it easy here because the elementals are much easier to take down. Or I suppose magic users can throw polar ray or something at them to take them down pretty quick. But if you're melee, you got to sit back and let them come to you, um, which they are pretty obliging about most of the time. I like when they're over here because sometimes the air jets will blow them right to you like that. And then once you're there, Take the air jet up. And what happened? Ah, okay. Sometimes you can actually get up to the next part, bypass all this through that air jet. Most of the time you land on the floor again. Not a big deal. A couple elementals to take down or avoid. I tend to take a couple of these first ones down, just to get them out of my way. They're pretty weak. And then there's a bunch of them. Well, not a bunch of them, but there's some of them up there keep pinging you. Uh, you need to go this way to get these breakables, and then back over here to get a couple more breakables if you want that 10% for the breakables. And I just go this way to come back. Either way, you're going to meet at this ladder right here. And then you got some armors to deal with. 
Oh, you just gather them up here by the uh, arcane. There's an arcane skelly right around the corner here. Just gather them up. Take them down. If you have abundant step, you can actually just bypass them completely. Because you'll be abundant stepping over this gap here. Uh, the rest of us have to guess on turning a valve or another. No, oh, that wasn't it. One of the valves will have a lightning trap. One of them will be the one that puts those pieces together so you can cross it. Not a big deal. This is about the time people start saying voices. Um, if you're in a group, you want to make sure to tell people to not trigger the end unless they get the breakables, unless you're sure everybody knows that. Those two breakables there, get these guys' attention, bring them back this way so you don't have to deal with them. Too close to the trigger, which is right at that corner, basically. And you have two more breakables to get at this point. So this is where you switch to a ranged weapon, hug the left wall, peek around the corner here, and you can get those last two. Oh, I already have it. So I guess one of those is needed, not both of them. But now I have the 10% Vandal bonus. And of course, I wish I had the 30% uh, trap bonus, but you know, soloing and all. And then you make sure your voice is on and uh, trigger the end. You'll get a 30% bonus if you have traps, so that number is kind of small for a first run of the day. And that's it. Um, you can exit out here, but that takes you back to the harbor. So most people either detour or recall from here, which I will do now. And uh, that's it. So there's your guide to Spies in the House on Epic Normal. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, uh, visit my site, or look up me up on Steam any of those, um, and I will see you on DDO's stream or my Twitch channel or a future YouTube video. Thanks for watching.